We see it all around us more and more every day. People with power punching down. But the Avengers weren't like that. I believed it in my core. I keep thinking, this has to have happened for a reason. Maybe this is what I've been waiting for. Maybe I'm finally part of something. Bigger. About time. Oh, these seats don't recline. It's so beautiful. Huh. Why call it the Golden Gate Bridge if it's not golden? There are so many other kids. I bet their stories are all amazing. Competition is what makes us strong. Mm. What if they don't like my story? What if it doesn't fit in? It's got to be perfect, you know? When you were born, your brother said you had googly eyes. What? But I thought your eyes were the most beautiful things I had ever seen. We are all unique, Kamala. You should be proud of who you are. I love you, Abu. I love you more. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna win this thing. Oh, could you imagine? I'm the winner for best fan fiction ever is Avengers versus the evil sewer lizards by Kamala Khan and the crowd goes wild. <sighs> That's the spirit. <laughs> hmm. Promise me something. Win or lose. Oh, I'll always be good, Abu. Oh, Beta. Good isn't a thing you are. It's a thing you do. That's my girl. Folks, we're approaching the Avengers West Coast headquarters on the left, and we'll be touching down on the Chimera Sea. Hurry, Abu, let's go! All right, all right, hold your horses. Fiction contest, here I come. Whoa. Welcome to Avengers Day. Hey there, finalist. Can I get your name? Kamala Khan. And this is my dad. Yusuf. The Khans, great. Make sure to check out our comic scavenger hunt. Collect all five and get access to the VIP balcony. Once you've collected them all, just scan your phone at the elevator and you're golden. Have fun. <laughs> Don't you have enough comic books? But the VIP balcony, I, I have to. Have to scan the barcode to get your. All right, let's do this.
bad, Kamala. Not bad at all. And this comic is now mine. Yes! Two down. Oh, darn. Are you okay? No. I already got this comic. I need the Captain America one to finish the set. Wait. If you get doubles, Please want to trade? <laughs> sure. Cool. See you later. No, this one's all out. Oh my gosh! Repulsor gloves! Oh, man. Oh. Oh, this is so cool! Ah, what atrocity is this? Ah, apologies. You are very small and hard to see. There is no need to cower before a son of Odin, though I understand the impulse. What is your name? Kamala Khan. Uh huh. And what is that thing you are holding? Oh, it's a high density muon beam. A Model 3 Repulsor Club. It's Tony Stark's first love. <laughs> Odin's beard. About as intimidating as the man himself, hmm? <laughs> oh, oh, you're funny. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Behold, a true weapon that needs no improvement. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he, if she, be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. <laughs> Indeed. The difference between Stark's trinkets and the god's might. I guess. But every hero has to start somewhere, right? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> yes, of course. You are very wise for one so young. Thanks. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> <laughs> Kamala Khan. Hmm. I will remember your name. I can't believe I just met the God of Thunder. Mind blown. Uh, comic books. Prize. Focus. I love your hair. Don't forget, the Avengers signing event starts at 12.30 on the main stage. Don't miss your chance to meet Earth's mightiest hero. No, this one's all out. The shield cap used in World War II to smash Hitler in the face. This is so cool. You're in the way. I'm, I'm sorry. This contest should only be for the real fans. <laughs> hey, what makes you think I'm not a real fan? I deserve to be here too. You really think that the Avengers read your little story? Get out of here. When the mob and the press and the whole world tell you to move, you plant yourself like a tree beside the river of truth, and you say no. You move. What? Who said that? A real fan would. Yeah, whatever. Let's get out of here. Great. And they're out of comics. You know, for what it's worth, I thought that was pretty brave. Thanks. I'm guessing you're a Captain Marvel fan. She's <laughs> off planet, but she would have liked to meet you. I'm sorry, you're Captain America. I'm Kamala. Kamala Khan. 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 Your story had the evil sewer. The sewer lizards, yeah. 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 Thor really got a kick out of that one. Said they actually had a sewer lizard problem on Asgard once. You read my story. Everyone submitted. <laughs> that is so cool. Hey, Cap, we should head to the stage. 
Tarleton is losing his nerve. Have you seen Thor? He should be here by now. Uh, I saw him. I, I saw him, yeah. Uh, he was over at the Stark booth, but he's probably not there anymore because I saw him leave. <laughs> Who's the kid? Nat, allow me to introduce one of our esteemed contestants. This is Kamala Khan, expert on all things evil sewer lizard. Oh, all right. Hey, that thing you had me do with the storm drain cover? Pretty badass. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing compared to what happened between you and Madame Hydra. That was wild. <laughs> uh, we should head to the stage. Right. It's nice meeting you, Kamala. See you around, kid. I'll see you around. That was Captain America. And Black Widow. I'm dying! Do you have a pen? Another comic down. Keep your worthy, guys. Can I try? Give it a go. Come on. Are you single? Worthy. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Hey, almost worthy is still pretty good. Here's your comic. Oh, thanks. Almost done. VIP balcony, here I come. Gather around, guys. Cool. More comics. Don't let Stark. That's get those get scientists from, from the sick. TVs. Terrigen was meant for the people, not some toy for billionaires. It still can be. Stay focused on what matters. Our work is going to change the world, George. I know you don't like the pageantry, but it will be worth it. He'll want control, profit. We won't let him. This is your moment. With Stark's funding and your mind, you'll be a hero to all those people. Can't you see? We are so close. There you are. Bruce. <laughs> you disappeared this morning. There's always work to be done. I know, always. What is it? Nothing. It's some little thing. Just getting some strange readings off the, uh, the reactor. George, maybe you were right. Maybe we were too hasty to put this on public display. Do you think we could run over the numbers just one more time? Oh, uh, yeah, yes, certainly. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Hey, what are you doing back here? Uh-oh. I'm, um, I'm lost? Sure. Let's get you back to the main event, okay? Huh. I already have this one. Hold on. Maybe I could trade this one with that other kid. Hey, I got the comic you wanted. Awesome. Trade you. Pleasure doing business with you. That's it! I got them all! Now to get up to that VIP balcony. Remember to collect five event exclusive comics to gain access to our VIP balcony for the main event. Director Fury! Director, aren't you concerned that your helicarrier's reactor might be incapable of containing this Terrigen? We know Trust nothing me. of. We wouldn't be moving forward if this wasn't completely safe. The Chimera delivers the safety and protection of the Avengers and S.H.I.E.L.D. combined. Thank you. <gasps> Bruno's never gonna believe this. Oh, hey kid, be careful. Oh. Okay. Peter, this is the elevator to your fancy balcony. It needs your phone scan. Do you have your phone? Open sesame, comic book overlords! First, 
that make us heroes look a lot more impressive than we actually are. We're also unveiling a new clean energy source called Terrigen. I'm told it's quite powerful stuff. And to explain how it works, the man who discovered it all, Dr. George Tarkov. Uh, thank you, uh, Cap <laughs> Captain Rogers. The Chimera is powered by a new mineral, Terrigen. Now, three years ago, I found a strange rock, yes, in the San Francisco Bay. Upon further tests, it was clear this mineral would be... I... Hello, San Francisco! The city of fine people, good food, and no parking. I am working on the no parking thing. Nice bag. Yeah! <laughs> oh no, this doesn't look good. We should get out of here. Come. Sounds pretty big for an accident. There are no accidents. Thor, Tony, check it out. At once. Try to keep up. Grab the Quinjet now. Just in case. On it. Are you waiting? Uh, yeah, obviously. Figured I'd let you catch up. Whoa! This just got a whole lot more interesting. Let's make this quick. Way ahead of you. Thor, see if you can clear a path on the bridge. Alright. Go, go, go! We've got at least three uh. dozen armed men out here. We need backup! <laughs> you are not worthy. Tony, Thor, what's your status? There are mortal traps. Lots of small, angry men with guns. Uh, I just caught a bus. Maybe I should have had a bigger breakfast this morning. Get ready. Four. thanks for the assist. We got civilians trapped behind those barricades. Understood. Stay behind me. I will deal with them. We got you, Thor. This should be fun. Thor, who are we dealing with here? They did not introduce themselves. Hang on, those guns are shield issue. I'll get Commander Hill on the line. Cap, they picked today for a reason. Agreed, Bruce. I'm staying with the Chimera until we figure out what's going on. Please! Stay down. Help is on the way. Stuck. Hey, get back! 
here. Just got confirmation. A shield convoy was hijacked this morning. Is this from one of Fury's morning briefs I never read? Come on, Tony, those are important. Okay, whatever. Pulsar rockets. I'm glad Fury kept all my best tech in one place. Those rockets are doing a lot of damage. Yeah, I know. I built the damn things. Cap, we should secure the Terrigen Crystal. If that thing gets hit... Already on it. Tarleton's heading down to the reactor chamber now. Stay behind cover. All right. Which one of you B-movie extras shot at me? Avenger, the convoy is carrying classified shield prototypes. Fury is tracking down the full manifest. Hell! How's the cat? Well, tell Fury I really love being shot at with my own weapon. We'll keep you updated, and Goose is fine. Ha! Ah, I didn't know you were listening to that part. You'd think these idiots would be running away by now. Can't shake the feeling we're playing catch up. There's something else going on here. Whose bright idea was it to outfit shield trucks with turrets? Tony! Oh, right. Mine. What's going on down there, Tony? Oh, nothing. Everything's just peachy. Just hoping these guys don't have... Take it back. They've got Pulsar tank. Cap, that ship's not ready for flight. Why is it moving? Someone's initiated the security protocols. The Chimera's autopilot has taken over. You'll need backup. We're heading back. Negative. Secure the bridge. Those weapons can't get into the city. Copy that. You're up, Bruce. Yeah. <sighs> Today was going to be one fan clubs and funnel cakes. Focus, Tony. Avengers, talk to me. Those tanks are doing a number on the bridge. It could fall if we don't take them out. Where's 
Big Green! I got eyes on him. Hulk, bringing in the Quinjet for a landing. Hulk smash! Uh. Shit! Charge! Inventions are dangerous, Stark. Hey, those weapons were meant for the good guys. Is that supposed to be a joke? Not the time. Get your heads in the game. Cap, what's going on over there? Not sure, Nat. Seems like the reactor's malfunctioning. I'm getting strange readings on the monitors. Like we're being pulled to a heat signal in the bay. Down! <laughs> Repeat that, Cap. I'm having trouble hearing. Nat, do you read? All hands. The Chimera is under Hurry attack. In the hole. Evacuate go, the civilians. Go, go. Do you read? Nat! Nat! Tarleton, are you there? We're being cut off! Captain, we have a problem! I know, Doc. They're trying to hijack the Chimera. Not that! I've never seen readings like these. I'll get to you as soon as I can. If you can hear me, the convoy is transporting a highly lethal sonic disruptor bomb. Our enemies intend to detonate it within the city. We're going down. I repeat, a sonic disruptor bomb. Secure the asset at once. <laughs> sonic bomb? Are you kidding me? Thought the UN outlawed those years ago. Let's have a look, shall we? Now that is an entrance. Taskmaster. We need to get
get that detonator. If that bomb goes off, it could liquefy everything within a 10 mile radius. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Always one step behind. You're after the Chimera, aren't you? What are you gonna do with it? Sell it to the highest bidder? I'm after something much more valuable. What's that? I won't spoil the surprise. left you that you're not the brains behind this and this smells like distraction I'm done talking coward don't like surprises next time take better notes 
Guess you saw that coming, huh? You think you've won? What the hell are you talking about? Look around, Romanov. The world will remember this day. The day their heroes failed them. <laughs> <laughs> happening here? The city's collapsing. Damn it, they played us. Steve, can you hear me? Get the hell out of there! Beta! Screw this. Five years ago, the Avengers paraded dangerous, untested technology causing damage on an unprecedented scale. Our beloved Captain America was killed during the attempted theft of this technology. Thousands of other innocent people died, and many more still bear the scars of what has come to be known as A-Day. Hundreds fell sick, encased in strange cocoons, only to emerge with dangerous, otherworldly powers. With no known cure, the disease has spread across the country, and while both S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers promised to rectify the situation, it was Dr. Banner's testimony that brought about the end of an era. You so-called heroes transformed San Francisco into an infectious, gas-filled quarantine zone. You unleash diseased, powerful beings that wreak havoc throughout our nation. Many still lay dormant, unidentified. So I ask you again, Dr. Banner, do the Avengers pose a danger to society? Yes. Their activities outlawed, the once mighty heroes disbanded. But out of tragedy is born hope. After the government liquidation of Stark Industries, Dr. George Tarleton, himself a victim of A-Day and founder of Advanced Idea Mechanics, thinks science is the solution to our nation's problems. I wish I knew what happened to Captain Rogers that day, but I was nowhere near the reactor room. I don't have those answers, but I can promise you this. I will use this second chance to make you safe. AIM will find a cure for the inhuman disease.